Christian hedonism changes the way you think about disability and weakness. Paul was a thorn-pierced man, right? He had this thorn. He had this thorn in his flesh. He didn't want to have it. He prayed to take it away. God would not take it away. Here's what Jesus said. My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Do you remember what Paul said next? Takes your breath away. He said, therefore, this thorn, I don't know what it was. It was painful, though. This thorn, he said, therefore, I will boast all the more gladly. I just can't believe that word. I can't believe he said that. Yes, I do believe. It's in the Bible. And I want to be that way when I'm broken and weak. Therefore, I will all the more gladly boast of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. This is what made him live, right? I want Christ to be magnified in living and dying and my thorn, my wheelchair. I want him to be magnified in my life. Therefore, I will receive it gladly. This year marks the 50th anniversary of Johnny Erickson Tata's paraplegic accident. Do you know why Johnny has magnified Jesus? How she has magnified Jesus for 50 years? Answer, she sings. <laughs> she sings for her life. She's told me, like, I, I would die in despair if I couldn't sing to my Jesus in my paralysis. 